Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my Jack? System. What the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna. Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. <clears throat> you piece of shit. Whoa. Cool it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. What is your fucking problem? Just stay out of my way, all right? How you feeling today, Sheriff? <sighs> Still the the whoever fuck? killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? There we Where's go. my axe? Who'd you give it to? My fight, damn it. Go sniff around somewhere else. Woody? What? What the fuck? Time is up. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take it? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. 
Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Hmm. No time for traveler's checks, huh? I'll be taking that. He won't be needing this anymore. Sick piece of... The Shard. It's the Shard. Finally. Nice. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Yeah, shut the okay. fuck up, will you? <laughs> uh, some people just don't listen to that. having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Believe me. That's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. What the fuck? <laughs> Some people are. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. The Mrs. Isha. My dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, yeah, it's fine. Creepy. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? It's not that difficult, isn't it? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. I'm believable. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. 
It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for an hour. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Okay. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Mabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? I don't think they can tell us. over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. No, I did take the money, so I could just give it. to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well... How about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. I haven't decided on him yet. Every situation's different, Toad. Well, might I suggest a path of compassion for the pig? And me and me boy, too. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get this sorted, and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Can't promise anything, though. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, Taunted. at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamoured when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles chains ribbons maybe faith and lily weren't doing what they were told or maybe they just tried to leave sheriff miss white i believe the mirror is repaired oh nice Pick i have to say i have been better but thanks for putting me back together i'm sorry i just i have to know mirror mirror we're glad you weren't slain now please show us 
That sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Yes, I am. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah, yep. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. Exactly. To be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fabletown government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no I'll other choice. <laughs> the Gothic Bridge, Central Park. There we go. Let's go in. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. Okay. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. 
He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just really a job, though, keep is that it? in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I can find that door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? For God's sake. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop tell me who the fuck me. is back oh, there. Yeah? Mate, I, I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. I got a the boss is there. You needn't worry. Like that much. He'll come around. And like Crane before him, I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed. Skinned and made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes off. Nope. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! You really wanna start this again? I was wondering when you'd turn up. Well, well. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yes, we do. The den. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> and on that note, we're going to leave this video here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, give it a thumbs down. Comment below if uh, you actually thought the Crooked Man would look like that, or if you thought he'd look something different. I wasn't really sus that surprised. Well, actually, no, no, I was kind of was surprised, but anyway, I thought he would look more evil. It just looks a bit more like Mafia Boss kind of thing, so, oh well. Anyway, uh, I will see you lovely people in the next video. Goodbye.